Hello friends, I'm Dr. T. Today we're asking five questions. What is high blood pressure? What's your normal blood pressure? What are the symptoms? Can we rely on symptoms of high blood pressure to avoid the trouble in the future? What are the causes of high blood pressure? And we'll finish with the bonus. Watch until the end of the video. Question number one. What is high blood pressure, hypertension? Before we answer that question, we need to know what blood pressure is. As, as we know, uh, term blood pressure was actually first mentioned by G. Harvio in 1628. And he warned surgeons that the blood could jet out of an artery if the artery was damaged. And in fact, if we nick even a very small artery during surgery, we can get blood sent across the table or to your face or your assistant's face. Uh, but the first measurement of blood pressure did not occur until 1733. It was not done by a doctor, it was done by Reverend Stephen Hale. And he measured blood pressure in the horse. They inserted a brass tube into the femoral artery of the horse, connect to a glass tube running vertically from the neck of the horse uh, upwards. The blood pressure reached 8 feet and 3 inches. Yeah, so think of your blood pressure as a column of blood reaching a certain height as the first experiment at the horse. And if you had looked uh, carefully, you would have seen that the column of blood would oscillate between two numbers. That's the, the higher now the systolic, the lower now will be diastolic blood pressure. Hypertension is a condition where the force of the blood against the walls of the artery is consistently high. This will put a strain in the heart, making it work a lot harder to pump blood out to the left ventricle, the main of the heart to the heart and the rest of the body. And it's a very common condition. The American Association estimates that almost one in two adults in the United States have high blood pressure. There is a lot of people, 116 million Americans. Question number two, what's your normal blood pressure? We have two numbers, the upper and the lower number. The upper number is called systolic, the lower number diastolic. The upper number corresponds to contraction of the heart. Um, and the lower number occurs during the relaxation phase of your heart, the, called diastole, of radio or lower. The definition has changed over the years, but lower the better. And if you have a systolic between 120 and 129, we say you have elevated blood pressure. Anything 130 and above one f uh, will be high blood pressure. 130, 139 will be stage 1. 140 or higher for the systolic will be stage 2 hypertension. What are the symptoms? Most people with high blood pressure have no symptoms. So a few may complain of some uh, headaches or shortness of breath or nose bleeds, but they do not occur until the blood pressure has reached a dangerous level. But you really need to have it measured start at age 18. And it's like looking at the tires in your car. You cannot tell what the pressure is until you get a flat tire. At that time, you have a little bit of trouble. If you find value in this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It helps me spread vital information to more people. Question number four, can you rely on symptoms of high blood pressure? Absolutely not. And you do not want to wait until you have a stroke or a heart attack or kidney failure to find out. The good news is you can get your blood pressure measured in many places, even in some stores. You can get it for free, you can get it done in your doctor's office, and you could buy a blood pressure machine for 25 bucks or less. Question number five. What causes high blood pressure? We divided hypertension in two categories, secondary and primary hypertension. In Secondary hypertension means there is an underlying cause, there's a condition causing it. It could be a congenital heart disease from the blood vessels like the aorta. It could be kidney disease. Be some medications, cough and cold medicines, uh, cocaine, amphetamines, that also could elevate your blood pressure. On the other hand, primary Hypertension, essential hypertension, is by far the most common, the most common form of hypertension. It accounts for 95% of all cases of high uh, blood pressure. 
can a, a, a teenager have dangerous high blood pressure? Yes. For example, if he was born with a congenital anomaly of the heart, like quartation of the heart, or if he developed kidney disease, he could, but it would be pretty uh, uncommon. Uh, here's the bond, as I promise you. It was the most accurate device to measure the high blood pressure. Wrist devices or arm cuff devices. Uh, for the most reliable blood pressure measurements, the American Heart Association recommends using a monitor with a cuff that goes around your upper arm. In summary, hypertension is a silent killer. You know now the basics of hypertension. What are your numbers? Do not ignore it. And remember, your health is too important to be delegated to others. Take control. See you next video.